Thanks for joining me. We are going to do a great recipe. Um, it's basically a lemon dill asparagus. Very simple. And in case you don't know who this is, I'm Kara. Um, have no clue how you got here. And let me tell you what you need. This is going to be for two. So remember that a serving of two is going to be four to six stalks. We've already cut off the end about a half an inch. Um, so this is for two. We're going to do a quarter cup of sour cream. So double it, triple it, quadruple it, however you're going to do it. A half a tablespoon of lemon juice, a teaspoon of garlic powder. We're going to do a tablespoon-ish, maybe a smidge more because I do love mayonnaise, of mayonnaise. A little salt and that's it. Oh, dill. Hello, that's how you get the dill out of it. You're going to do a teaspoon of fresh dill. And um, I'm boiling water basically here. We're gonna quickly blanch this. So I'm gonna throw this in here and while I continue to talk, let it cook. We just want it tenderly crisp, which is basically what blanching is. Now, I've got my measuring uh, spoons here. I'm ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut up a little more dill. This is a great recipe to go along um, if you're gonna do like a seafood dinner. Fantastic, this is a really light recipe. Oh, I don't know why I keep doing that. I keep using that as my grocery, my uh, garbage bag. But we've got our dill. Now you can use this like salmon or tilapia. And I ma actually made a cream cheese, um, a lemon pepper rice earlier. So go check out that video. I just wanted to show you how really good it is and how all these flavors can blend together. And we're going to steam these or blanch these just for like three or four minutes. Basically, again, it's a tender or crisp. We're going to get it to a rolling boil quickly and then throw it in the sink with some ice on top of it so it stops cooking. And then we're going to add the ingredients. Okay, we blanched it, we drained off the water, and now we're gonna add the ingredients. And again, this can be served um, cold, so you could actually make this ahead of time and freeze it for up to 30 days, this sauce, and then just steam your broccoli when you're ready and dip it cold, or we're going to heat it. So we're, we're just adding the ingredients. We're going to go over this really quickly because you have a thousand things to do. And now watching me is not part of it. So I'm going to add it and then show you just what it looks like. Again, I have this on medium low. And you know I don't measure much. So occasionally things taste a little quirkier or sometimes they taste a lot better. The beauty is you can create this recipe to fit your family's likes. Hello, that's easy. So we're going to add this, and right now what I'm going to do is just pop a lid on it for about five or six minutes, medium low. We don't want the asparagus to get soggy, so we don't want to cook it longer than that. We just need the um, sour cream and the mayonnaise to heat to form a sauce, and uh, then we'll gobble it up. Perfect. I'm going to take the lid off and then we are just going to stir this so that all of the asparagus is coated. Oh, that smells good. Asparagus smells phenomenal just on its own. Do you all agree with that? I love, love, love it. Okay, so this is it. I probably should have gotten a dish. Why don't I put you on pause and go get a dish? I'll be right back. And I was smart. I went and got my little plastic tongs so I can scoop this on a plate. I wasn't planning. I'm actually doing another video in between cooking this to kind of show how you can pin products to help small businesses. So that's always fun. All right, so we've got that. And then you've got a, uh, you can save a little dill and just sprinkle it right on top. And your side dish is done. And again, this is going to serve two. And I'm doing it with a ranch baked pork chop, which is so good. It's got a cornflake crust. And then I also, because we're all dilly today, um, I did my lemon pepper rice. So that is going to be dinner tonight. Thanks for joining us. Visit us at facebook.com slash bag holder. And hey, if you want your own bag holder, feel free to go buy it. But otherwise, find us on our blog at todaysliving.net. See you soon.